Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you click that subscribe button now. Planning on doing lots more videos coming out very soon and especially over the weekend. So please all stay tuned for that. But in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a point which has been raised a couple of times on the channel over the last few weeks in terms of starting your own 118 scale model car collection and which are the best budget brands to buy. Um, now, I think over the last few weeks, I've uploaded um, content around my Auto Art Signature Collection, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, I did an update on my resin model car collection from BBR and MR collection models. And I'll leave links in the description for all those videos if you're new to the channel. Um, and I think people want to see a bit more of a, an affordable side to the, the hobby um, brands and cars that I first started out collecting before I went into Auto Art Signature and all the resin models as well. Um, I still think all of the cars that I've got on the table right now are absolutely great models, regardless of their price. And I'll be kind of showing you guys some some top tips in terms of starting your own collection um, without spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on one single model car. Um, I think the brands that I've got on the table represent some of the best budget brands that you can buy right now. So we've got some Hot Wheels models um, and a Hot Wheels Elite model, which I'll touch on in a bit more detail later on. Um, but you can't go wrong with Hot Wheels. They're always the, one of the best brands that you can buy, regardless of, um, of price. And especially the um, Hot Wheels Elite model as well. Very highly detailed. And then we've got Maystone. So we've got the Porsche uh, Carrera CGT. Um, again, really great model this, and I touch in a bit more detail on this model car and why I've still got it in the collection and in the cabinet. I think it's an absolute great value proposition if you're looking um, for a CGT but you don't want to spend the money for an auto art model. I think this is a great alternative. And then we've got Maystone. So I've got a number of different Maystone models in the um, in the collection. I've just highlighted one that I'll discuss why I've put it on the table, um, but Maystone... Motormax, Bravago and Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels Elite are some of the best budget brands that you can buy. All very, very affordable and very good for starting out. Um, but let's touch on some of the other models at the higher end of the spectrum. And then we'll touch on why I've got these models on the table and why I think if you're looking to start your own collection, 118 collection, this is where you should be starting first of all. So this is the Auto Art Signature Collection. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is probably why I'm um, I'm showing you guys this. Um, if you've been subscribed for a number of weeks now or months, you probably be very used to seeing the cabinet on the channel. Um, but these are some of the top tier uh, models that you can buy from from Auto Art. Um, so this is kind of the other side of the spectrum for 118 scale model cars. So this is right at the top end in terms of die cast models. Um, Auto Art Signature are, are a premium brand in my opinion. They make some of the most detailed, rarest, exclusive 118 scale models that you can buy. Um, all of these ones with the certificate are fully open in die cast models. So everything opens up, um, fully, um, fully die cast, fully openable, um, and they're really highly detailed. And some of these are extremely rare now. So some of like the, um, the McLarens, the Kearney's eggs, the Paganis, they're all very, very rare and quite exclusive now. If you're looking at um, at um, a, a starting your own collection, but to put it into perspective, you know, one of these might cost 800 to 1,000 um, pounds. And that's not sensible, I suppose, if you're starting out your 118 collection, unless, you know, you've, you know, you've got, you've got the money to, to start collecting it. But this is where I wouldn't start. This is where I, I, I never started collecting um, with Auto Art Signature models. I slowly, slowly built up to the collection that I've got today over a number of years of collecting 118 models. But I did not start out with them um, with all of these models. So um, this is, as I say, this is the other end of the spectrum. Um, this is where kind of the, the, the aim of the collection is to get to over time. Um, but let's go back to the table and I'll discuss some of the... Um, the cheaper-ish brands, um, but that still offer great value and still are very, very detailed models and were still worth collecting to today. So we'll touch on that point now. So first of all, we'll touch on Hot Wheels. Now I think Hot Wheels are an absolutely great brand. 
You know, they're very iconic now. They're very popular with um, with collectors. And now they obviously predominantly make Ferrari models. Um, but there's different scales to, um, to Hot Wheels. So you've got the regular Hot Wheels, which I've got an example of, the Ferrari F430 Spider, which, um, again, they're, they're great models. They're quite detailed for, for the value. And they tend to hover around in the UK here, maybe around kind of 25 to, to 30 pounds. But that's the Hot Wheels entry level um, product is just the regular Hot Wheels. And then you've got a Hot Wheels Elite model, which I've got the Ferrari California in, um, in a metallic blue, which is really cool. Again, all of these models are fully die cast. They open up um, and they're really great uh, collectible items. Um, now, the Elite is a slightly more detailed model compared to the regular Hot Wheels. Um, you can see I've got the engine bay opened up. You've got a little bit more detail there in terms of what they've shown you. The paint works a lot more um, kind of metallic. It's got a lot more depth to it than the um, than the regular one. You can see that metallic fleck in the paintwork. The engine bay is fairly detailed again for, for the value of the model. Now, again, these, these are slightly more than the regular ones. So these are around the kind of 45, 50 pound mark when I first bought them new. Uh, but you do get a lot more detail on these models compared to the regular one as you can see you know you can take the whole roof off display it as a convertible or as a hard top if you um if you wish you've got a really nice interior in here as well which is um you know quite detailed you know you've got different materials for the seat belts the seats the foot wells you've got a good center dash as well and then all of the kind of openings for the um, air intakes are all filled with um with mesh so at the top and on the bottom Whereas on the regular Hot Wheels, if I zoom into an air intake, for example, um, you can see that it's just a plastic filling. There's no mesh in there at all. Um, and that's that's the small differences that are on the um, on the Elite compared to the regular Hot Wheels model. Um, now, there is a step above the Hot Wheels Elite. It's called Hot Wheels Super Elite. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a Super Elite model to, um, to show you. But again, it's just a next level up from the regular Elite one. Uh, and they start to hover around the £100 mark for a super elite model. They're quite rare now. I don't think Hot Wheels make super elite models anymore. I certainly haven't come across any um, recently. Uh, but again, I think a super elite or Hot Wheels elite model are really good models to buy right now. Um, they're quite rare. Um, I don't think you'll lose too much in your, um, in your model in terms of a, an investment point of view. Um, but I think Hot Wheels, you can't go wrong. They make great models, great specs, and they look great in the um, in the cabinet as well. And I've still got these models, and these were some of the first models I collected, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. And they're still in very, very good condition. The paintwork doesn't fade, um, and everything's still in one piece. And um, that's, you know, partly due to, because obviously um, I put them in the cabinet, I look after them, but they do hold up well over time. There's no issues with any paintwork. Um, everything's still in, in one piece and um, they are very, very good models to um, to go for. But they also make other brands as well. So I've got an MC12 Maserati on the table from Hot Wheels as well. So they do make other um, brands other than Ferrari. And again, you know, this MC12 is an absolute great alternative to the Ottawa version. You save yourself, you know, probably around 200, 250 pounds um, buying this one over the auto art version um, the auto art version is an it, it is a completely different model um, i've got that one in the collection and that is very very highly detailed that whole front clamp opens up you can take the roof off um, and it, the the engine detail is, is miles better but in terms of starting out you know it looks great in the um in the cabinet the hot wheels version it's got the size it's got the presence it's got the looks it's very very low down um and you, you can still open up the engine bay and the doors you know it's it is a fully opening die cast model um and you know you're you're saving yourself maybe nearly 300 pounds now because one of the auto art versions are going for kind of 450 500 pounds um plus really for a white and blue one so you're saving yourself an awful lot of money um, and it still looks great in your in your collection, in your cabinet. And it's got all of the perks that um, an MC12 should have. So definitely worth having a look there. And again, quite rare now. And I think you can probably pick these up for probably under 40 quid, um, which again, bargain, really good value, very highly detailed model. 
um, and one that I really would recommend. So um, definitely have a look at the Hot Wheels brand, Hot Wheels lineup. They've made a ton of cars over over the last kind of 10, 15 years, all different Ferraris and Maseratis um, from the Hot Wheels, the Super Elite and the Elite um, series. So have a look at all of those models and we'll move on to uh, Motor Max and these TGTs. Now on the turntable here, we've got Motor Max's version of the Porsche Carrera GT. Um, again, one of the, the most iconic cars from um, from Porsche, the last manual analog proper driver's car from um, from Porsche. Um, and again, you know, they've really hit an all time high CGT prices at the moment. I think I've seen a couple go for kind of 1.4, 1.5 million pounds, which is, um, you know, really skyrocketing prices. If you compare the price, you know, three or four years ago, um, they've really kind of doubled and tripled in value over time. So um, again, really iconic car from, from Porsche, definitely one of their flagships. Um, and I think Motor Max has done a great rendition on this model. Now, again, the other alternative is from AutoArt. Um, again, it's not a signature model, but it's one of their premium editions. And prices of that model are around kind of 125, 150 pounds. Uh, but you can pick up a Motormax version for probably way less than half of that. These probably go for around £30 on, on eBay now if you get one in good condition, which I highly would recommend. It's a fully open and die-cast model car. looks great. I've still got it 10 years on and it's held up flawlessly over that time. Paintwork is immaculate um, and the whole model generally is, is pretty flawless. The stickers are still on. Um, everything is still where, where it was brand new. And um, I think it definitely does rival the Auto Art equivalent, um, even though it is way, way less in terms of its um, its cost. But um, again, you know, if you're starting out on on 118 model cars and you want a CGT um, in the um, in the collection, um, I think Motormax is your go to. You know, even the small details like having different color center locks on the passenger side. As you can see, the passenger side is blue. And then if I go around, the driver's side is red. So again, you know, you've got these small little details that other other kind of cheaper brands will just miss off. But um, they've done a really good version of the CGT, I think, with this one. And I've still got it in the collection, in the cabinet, alongside some of the other more expensive models. And it definitely holds up very well. I, you know, I could go out and buy the um, auto art version. Um, that's not a problem, but I just don't think it's good value when I've got one of these in the collection and they look pretty much identical. Um, yeah, granted, the Auto Art one will probably be a little bit more detail, but is it worth spending all that money more? Mm, I, I don't really think so. So, again, if you're looking um, to to start your collection, you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds on, on a model. Have a look at Motor Max's lineup. I've just got a CGT as an example. But they do do a very very good job with their 118 scale models and it looks fantastic as you guys can see um, so definitely have a ch check them out check them out on ebay see if you can get a good deal second hand but um i really can't speak um any more highly of them than i have done already pretty flawless for for the value really good details all round um and it's a 10 10 car so um yeah go and check them out and lastly, we've got the Maystone. So I've got loads and loads of Maystones in the uh, in the collection, as um, I'm sure many of you guys know. So I've just picked out one. I've got the the Dodge Viper on the um, on the turntable from from Maystone. I think it looks absolutely great. Um, now again, I think this one is probably Maystone in general is really good in terms of budget brands. You know, they make some really cheap, affordable 118 model cars. That are pretty good in terms of detail. I wouldn't put them at the same level as Hot Wheels or you know as the CGT that I just showed you. Um, I think they're kind of just one step below that. Um, but again, you know, you really can't go wrong with them um, with Maystone. They're you can probably pick them up for as cheap as maybe fifteen pounds, twenty pounds on eBay. So they're really not a lot of money at all, and you do get an awful lot of car for for that as well. So again, you know, you get you get a fully open in. 118 die cast model car that's fairly detailed for for the money looks great in your cabinet they make some really unique um, iconic pieces um, like i've got an example here like the um, like the dodge viper in really cool specs you know with the chrome wheels and the bright red the interior is pretty good as well in terms of detail you know you can see the um, the manual transmission and center dash 
you know everything in there as well which is pretty cool um but i mean in terms of the detail i mean as i mentioned you know the air intakes are just stickers you know you do notice that you know when you do get close up but in the cabinet you know you, you won't really notice that and i think it would look great and again great um, budget brand to have so i hope i've guys i've shown you guys um some options in terms of buying 118 scale model cars without spending hundreds of pounds on on each one you know we've got motor max we've got hot wheels and we've got um Barago and um the the other brands as well so um yeah any suggestions please let me know any questions you want to ask about starting your own 118 collection let me know um i'm more than happy to um to help you guys out um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, please like, please subscribe, please share. Um, I've got a lot more videos coming out very soon with um, with some new models, which I'm hopefully um, very excited to share on the channel sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon for lots more videos to come. Cheers, bye.